just in case you're not perusing medical journals for fun. I found an article that you might find interesting. U.S. mortality rates far higher than peer nations, leading to millions of missing Americans. A new study found that more than 1 million U.S. deaths per year, including many young and working age adults, could be avoided if the U.S. had mortality rates similar to peer nations. In 2021, 1.1 million deaths would have been averted in the United States if the U.S. had mortality rates similar to other wealthy nations. The study refers to these excess deaths as missing Americans because these deaths reflect people who would still be alive if the U.S. mortality rates were equal to its peer countries. Comparing age-specific death rates in the U.S. and 21 other wealthy nations from 1933 to, through 2021, the authors find that the current death rates in the United States are much higher than other wealthy nations and the number of excess U.S. deaths has never been larger. The number of missing Americans in recent years is unprecedented in modern times, said the lead and corresponding author. Nearly 50% of all missing Americans died before the age of 20, uh, before the age of 65 in 2020 and 2021. Think of the people you know who have passed away before e um, reaching 65. Statistically, half of them would still be alive if the United States had mortality rates of our peers. The U.S. is experiencing a crisis of early deaths that is unique among wealthy nations. COVID-19 did exacerbate deaths, but the new findings show that the number of excess U.S. deaths has been accelerating over the last four decades. You guys can read this bottom um, paragraph on your own. Pause to read. I do want to get to this part right here. Black and Native Americans are overrepresented in these numbers, um, ages 15 to 44, that were five and eight times higher than average of other wealthy nations. The team also says that the history of structural racism in the U.S., including policies such as slavery and redlining, has contributed to racial and ethnic disparities in wealth and in access to education, housing, and health care. I also want to talk about this part here that I've circled. They connect the large excess mortality burden to the failure of the U.S. policy to adequately address major public health issues, including the opioid epidemic, the pew pew violence, environmental pollution, economic inequality, food insecurity, and workplace safety. And obviously, COVID-19 accelerated these deaths. This will take a multi-pronged plan of attack, but talking about the issues will be important. Americans die younger than other counterparts elsewhere because when corporate profits conflict with health, our politicians side with corporations.